Hey everyone, Amanda here with Button Smash, and today what we are doing is I am going to be showing off a piece that I just made, and I'm trying to get a um, costume put together for a uh, secret 1920s speakeasy that my husband and I got invited to for when we're on vacation in San Francisco. And I'm super excited for it, and so I created this headpiece in order to uh, fit in because you're supposed to dress, period. And so I created this, and so I have a couple little tweaks that I need to do within the next few days before I leave on vacation, and I wanted to kind of show you um, some little tips and tricks of what you can do as well um, in case you wanted to do like a costume in on a budget. So today, what we have here is I actually got a dress and a shawl and necklace and gloves, and then um, I have a couple of tweaks I want to do in order to close this up like this. Um, and then that way you can change the look if you like. And then I have, I bought two of these necklaces at a, a party store called Zurcher's for less than $2 a piece. And so when I put that on for a bracelet, it is too big. And even if you like adjusted it, there's just way too much and it can possibly fall off. I mean, it's not terribly bad, but I wanted to show you some hacks of what you can do in order to turn this into a actual bracelet. Um, these are just like the simple little like Mardi Gras type beads that you can get at the dollar store or wherever. Um, so like little girl play jewelry um, is basically what this is. There's just a plastic beads that are basically like glued or welded onto um, a nylon string. And so I wanted to kind of show you some ideas of how you can turn this into an actual bracelet. So. Do you think we should get started? Uh-huh. Yeah? And then maybe after I get everything uh, done, I will put the dress on and everything once I get my few little tweaks done and ready for, for the whole costume for me to show you what it looks like all together. Anyways, let's get started. All right, so first off, I'm going to kind of show you um, the outfit before I make my little tweaks. So that way you understand why I'm doing my tweaks. Um, so firstly, like I said, I had purchased this strand of pearls at a uh, party store that also sells some costuming items, and it's just those really simple, like plastic, you know, little girl jewelry um, item, and less than two dollars. And so all I did, because it's a 1920s thing, is I just took it, and after I put it on, I just twisted it, and now it looks 1920s. Um, so there's the necklace. Second, um, I had purchased this beautiful dress at a store called Savers, and it was only a roughly about $13, and when I first found it, I was iffy about it, but I was like, well, I'll just go ahead and try it off the head with the headpiece and just kind of see what it looks like. And the second I put the dress on and I had the headpiece on, my heart just stopped. I'm like, okay, this has to be the dress. No question about it, it fits perfect, it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's beautiful, which you will get to see that at the end of the video. So what I really love about this dress is the fact that it has, um, so these buttons, these uh, decoration here is actually buttons. Um, the next day, I went to a Goodwill with, with a friend, and I found this shawl. And the cool thing about the shawl is I noticed after I had purchased it um, that it had these little elastic loops on there. So we see there's like a little elastic loops. And what I figured out, I was like, you know, I wonder how it would look if I were to take the little plastic loops and literally looped it on the button, which fits perfectly on there. And now I have this beautiful shawl that I can connect to the dress and it actually looks like it's part of the dress. Now I'm thinking, you know, it would be really pretty if I can attach, you know, connect the end of the shawl together so that way it looks more part of the dress and more complete. And you can even kind of change the design of, of the shawl just depending on where the elastic is that you connect on there. 
but I really love it like this and it really looks 1920s once I put the headpiece on there. It's just absolutely stunning. So at the end of the video, you will get to see that. So what I was thinking in order to get the effect that I wanted to connect this together is I was like, you know, maybe I should go to Joanne's and see if I can find like a eye and hook or some kind of closure. And so when I went this morning, I found this neat little guy. Unfortunately, Joann's does not have a really good selection in gold closures. Um, so what I had to look for is how it connected. There was a closure that I absolutely loved, but this is the way that the hook was. It was not hooked around enough for it to stay on. And so what um, I was thinking, like I have to find something that has a better hook so that way when I'm moving around, this, like if I'm dancing or anything like this, this doesn't keep coming off. So I looked for some kind of closer that was hooked enough to where I know for a fact it won't fall off. So that's how I found this beautiful little thing. But it's the wrong color and so I'm going to paint it before I sew it onto the ends of the shawl. One thing that um, I will point out is this shawl actually belonged to a jacket, uh, but when I found out at the thrift store it was sold separately, so it must have detached from the jacket and the jacket got lost from it. Something I don't know, but I paid only a dollar for it. Um, well, my friend paid a dollar for it. Um, and it has, like I said, has the little elastic things and it has the little things where you put the buttons through. Um, so just depending on the positioning of this changes the look of the entire outfit. So what you will want to do is you can find any dress, any outfit, just as long as you hand sew on like a button or something or you know just sew on a button on both sides. Take the shawl from a jacket that you can detach then you can actually connect that shawl from the jacket onto whatever outfit that you want to make to your costume. So, like I said, this is my 1920s outfit and you will see it on me once I am done making my little tweaks. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the materials I have with me today and kind of tell you uh, what I'm going to do with it. And then we will get started on tweaking the outfit, putting it together, and then I will put it all together and show it off. What we will be needing to make a bracelet is glue, two bead or bell caps, a long fake pearl plastic necklace, and a clasp of some sort. In this case, I am using a magnetic clasp because the pearls are very light and plastic. What we will be needing to attach a closer to the tips of a shawl that used to belong to a jacket is paint, a paintbrush or sponge brush, thread the color of the material that you are using, a sewing needle, and a closer. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to paint the closer because it's not the color I want. Um, I was looking for gold, but like I said earlier, Joann's is not that good at having a lot of gold options. So, took that off. Now I'm going to get my paint. Okay, so I have my sponge brush, which I really love the sponge brush more than a regular brush. Um, it feels like it's plastic, so let's hope that it paints. Um, I don't know why I thought it was metal, but this paint is really good for like furniture, walls, you know, stuff like that, just different things. So this paint is really good for like all sorts of different things. So I'm really hoping that it works on the plastic. Um, if not, then I might be using fingernail polish. So, let's see what happens.
and I do have some fingernail polish that will be a really pretty color to use if I need to. So once I'm done painting this, what I'm going to do is let it dry and determine if it's going to be good enough for um, what I want it for. Because as an artist, we tend to be extremely picky when it comes to our art. Now that I got that painted, I am going to let this dry and then we will come back and sew that onto the shop. Alright, now that I got that all painted, um, I will do a close up so that way you can see what it looks like. But it's absolutely perfect and it's the exact same shade that I had in mind. And I am very excited to get this sewn onto the shawl. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be the next step is I'm going to sew this on to the ends of the shawl. And uh, we'll go from there. But until then I will show you what it looks like close up. Alright, so now, like I mentioned, the next thing we're going to do is sew this little thing onto the tip of the shawl. So just right here. So once it's finished, it's ideally this is what it's going to look like. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, now that we got the shawl done, uh, let's move on to the bracelet. Um, like I said, I paid less than $2 for this fake strand of pearls at a uh, costume slash party store uh, called Zurchers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down and turn it into a bracelet. Um, only because, I mean, I love how much pearls is on there. It's just a little too, too much and too big. So when you wrap your hand around, see how much extra pearls there are? So even if you loosen it up, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to cut this down and make it into an actual bracelet so that way we don't have all that extra space. So what you're going to do is I have two uh, bell caps here. They already have the holes on top for you to put a um, jump ring through. So that we can attach it and I'm actually going to use this magnetic clasp um, only because this bracelet is going to be really light and so I'm not going to have to worry about the weight of it falling off or anything like that and this magnetic clasp is actually super strong so it would be much better and easier for when you have a bracelet uh, it would be much easier than lobster claw or anything like that so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut it off 
okay? So just take your scissors and open it up. And what you're gonna do is kind of get an idea as to how much of it that you would like and need. So let's say I'm gonna wrap it around about four times. I think that looks really pretty. What do you think? About four times. Let's see what it looks like about five. Yeah, let's do it like that. So we're gonna wrap it around five times. So what I'm going to do is cut it down about right here. And let's put this extra aside because we don't need that. We don't want to get mixed up with the piece that we're actually using. So now that you have it cut down to the size that you want, what you're going to do is you're going to take your bell cap or bead cap or, or a cord end, whichever that you like to use. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue and just put it on the end. However much glue that you think that you need. And then you take your bell cap and just stick your bell cap right on there and make sure that it's straight. And when I say straight, I mean like even with the rest of it. And then I like to blow on it to make it cool down faster or dry faster. You can even take like a, a hair dryer, um, put on cool, um, or just let it sit there. And if you wanted to, you can even take the ends of the bell cap and you squish it around the bead to kind of help hold that on as well. All right, and then we're just gonna let that dry and I will do a close up so that way you can watch what I do on the other side. Alright, once that dries, then you can put on your um, jump rings and then you can attach your clasp. So we are going to let that dry for just a little bit longer. And then I will get it all together and then I will be ready to put on my costume for you. Alrighty, now that we got the bracelet all done, um, and it seems to be fairly well dry, and then we got the clasp sewn onto the shawl, um, I'm going to quickly do my hair, so that way you can kind of see how I'm going to do it. Alright, so my hair is going to be extremely simple. Um, I was studying some pictures for the 1920s, and, well, <laughs> seems fairly simple if you don't do like the little curler rolls or anything like that. So I'm just simply going to put my hair up in a ponytail and then by the third time around I'm going to come halfway out and then I'm going to pull it to the side so my hair is going to kind of look like this with it off to the side a little bit. Okay. And my hair looks really messy right now because it's kind of bad head but Oh well, it's going to look really, really beautiful once I get the dress and the headpiece on though. I guarantee it. Alright, you guys ready to see what it all looks like together?
Okay, so now that we have the dress and everything on, we're going to put the headpiece on now. So the headpiece I actually designed to perfectly fit my head. Okay, so now I've got the headpiece on. What do you think? <laughs> so now I'm just going to throw on the gloves. And this shall complete the outfit. And again, I found these gloves at a local uh, costume slash party store for around seven bucks. You can always check out Claire's or any other shop like that for gloves as well. Now we'll put the bracelet on. Perfect. All right, so what do you think of my 1920s outfit with my custom headpiece? All right, if you liked this video, please thumbs up, comment what you loved about this video. Um, and if you want, actually want to see more jewelry making hacks, then please let me know in the comments because I've been wanting to do some video on some unique jewelry hacks that I've had always figured out on my own and done. Um, otherwise, please subscribe to me so that way you can see more of my awesome headpieces. And if you would love to see even more things, please go to Vintage Fairy Creations on Facebook and like me there as well. Thank you for watching. Bye.